Hello, welcome back to Matthew 1. Our lesson is all about real number system. Let us define the real number system. The real number system consists of the set of elements called real numbers. Real number is a positive, a negative, or zero and can be classified as either rational or irrational number. Para mas madaling maintindihan ng real numbers, let us use this diagram. Based sa definition, real numbers can be classified either as rational numbers or irrational numbers. So first, dun muna tayo sa rational numbers. Start tayo sa pinakababa. Natural numbers or N. They are also called counting numbers. What are the counting numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. How about whole numbers or W? Consists of natural numbers and zero. Dadagdagan lang natin or may zero lang tayo kay whole numbers. Okay? Next, how about integers or Z? Counting numbers, their opposites, and zero. What are the examples? Negative 4, negative 3, Negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, and so on. Pwede pa natin extend ang negative numbers. Okay, how about the rational numbers or Q? A number that can be expressed as a fraction. And every rational number can be written as either a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal. The examples are... Negative 0 0.25, 1.333, and of course, 1 over 2. Again, kapag sinabi natin natural numbers, full numbers na siya, integers, at rational numbers. Pag sinabi natin full numbers, integers na siya, at rational numbers. Kapag integers, rational numbers siya. Pero hindi lahat ng rational numbers ay natural numbers. Hindi lahat ng rational numbers ay whole numbers at hindi lahat ng rational numbers ay integers. Now, let's move on to the irrational numbers or i. The square root of any number that is not a perfect square. Decimal does not terminate or repeat. What are the examples of irrational numbers? Square root of 2. Because 2 is not a perfect square. Pi and square root of 11. Let's try to answer this. Tell whether the number is rational or not rational. 1 is negative 3 over 2. It is the ratio of two integers. Is it rational or not rational? Of course, 1 is rational. How about 2? Two? 2 is a repeating decimal. Rational. 3 is an integer. Is it rational or not rational? Rational. How about 4? Four? 4 is a non-terminating decimal. So this is not rational. And 5? 4.67 is a terminating decimal, so this is rational. 